Is tuna good for diabetics? Diabetes mellitus is a pancreatic illness that limits insulin production. Stress, fear, anxiety, external conditions, and obesity are all major contributors to the growing rates of illness. But one's food and way of life can also play a significant part in either increasing to or reducing the development of these conditions. Tuna is permitted in a diabetic's diet because it is a high-quality protein source, has healthy fats, both saturated and unsaturated, and has no simple sugars. In addition, this fish is a great resource for the minerals selenium, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium, and vitamins D, A, B1, B3, and B6. Also, it has a glycemic index of zero. Scientists from the University of Eastern Finland in Kuopio found that those with high concentrations of long-chain omega-3 fatty acids in their blood serum had a lower chance of developing type 2 diabetes. These fatty acids can be found in fish and fish oils, such as the tuna you enjoy so much. The amount of mercury in tuna is a controversial topic of discussion. Unfortunately, among marine fish, tuna has the highest concentration of the dangerous heavy metal mercury. This is likely due to its position at the bottom of the food chain and the fact that it lives for a very long time. Raw tuna meat has far more mercury than cooked tuna. However, the metal concentration was still extremely high in every sample that was tested. There is a weekly limit of 1.6 micrograms per kilogram of body weight for mercury consumption. A 70 kilogram adult can safely eat no more than 110 grams of fresh tuna meat each week, which is equal to around 1.5 cans of tuna in its sauce. For diabetics, tuna is a safe food. However, try to limit overconsumption. Thank you.